What is up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. I was supposed to do this vlog review of the Ultra Boost uh, Stability Parlay which just came out but I am throwing this aside because for this episode I want to talk about the crazy stuff, the craziness, the madness, the chaotic release of the Yeezy Butter that happened here in the Philippines. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because the moment we hit 20,000 subscribers, we are giving away a bunch of hyper laces as well as REMS cleaning solutions to two lucky subscribers. Subscribe now, follow me on Instagram. Now, a fellow YouTuber, Eduardo Villanueva, I'll put a link down below to his channel, sent me some clips of his video and with his permission, I asked to be able to get some clips of it to feature on this video. Now, to those who want to watch the entire thing, check out this YouTube channel. It's there. I'll put the link also down below. Check, check out your regular clips. Let's go! So thanks again to Carlo Villanueva for sending over the clip. And can I just say this in Tagalog? OMG! Ano ba yan? Ang gulo-gulo! Ang sakit sa ulo! That was really messy. Wow! Now, this is the perfect example of why you should be using digital and technology to solve a problem. I mean, for crying out loud, you already know, I think, that people will line up. It's a easy. You know, pe people would want to buy it so that they can resell it or whatnot, or they, they just really want to want it. So you, you already have the foresight that there would be potentially hundreds of people, if not thousands, maybe just hundreds, I, I might be exaggerating, who would line up for it. And it would be messy and it would be so hard to organize and to fix. I, I am just really blown away with still using this dated and old mechanic of first come first serve for sneakers like this one. Uh, maybe they underestimated the demand, maybe they thought it wouldn't be as big anymore so they didn't want to go with the raffle and instead whoever just wants to go there can line up and potentially get it but man, I mean here's my point. If you want to use like first come first serve, if you want to use like physical lines to be able to do a release like this then you have to make sure that you do it the best way possible. You have to review all the potential issues, you have to practice, you have to organize so that it doesn't happen like this. Kasi naiintindihan ko naman kung bakit baka gusto gawin ng Adidas eh. They want to be able to have as many opportunities or as many ways for people to get the shoe. There's an online raffle later at 2pm. You can get it via the raffles at Commonwealth and Soul Academy. Or you can line up at the Yeezy, at the Yeezy, at the Adidas store over up, Uptown BGC. So the intentions are most likely good, but maybe moving forward, they, there should definitely be a review of how the mechanics are done so that, you know, it's smoother, it's a little more painless, and it won't end up being like a painful thing for customers and the brand alike. Uh, so, yeah, that's, those are my two cents for the thing. I just hope that to, to those who were in line, I hope you guys are okay. And I hope that to those who really wanted to get the easy butters, they were able to get it. To those who weren't able to get uh, the butters because of the lines and you still still really want one, uh, you can. I think there is an online release at 2 o'clock. So make sure that you guys check that out at the website. I think you have to subscribe to the Yeezy thingy so that you get a notification and then you have the opportunity to be able to win it or to win the chance to buy it uh, on the online store of Adidas. I'll put the link down below on that experience that I had for the Super Moon Yellow Yeezy 500 as well as a link down below uh, to a recent video that I did on why you shouldn't buy Yeezys anymore at resale prices. That's it for this vlog. And again, I just want to send a quick shout out and thank you to Carlo Villanueva, link down below to his channel, for sending me the videos as well as the pictures that I used for this vlog. All of those materials are his. I just asked for his permission to be able to put it in this vlog. As for my review of the Ultra Boost Parlay <laughs> that just came out recently, this is my favorite shoe. Please do watch out for it uh, tomorrow or maybe in the next few days. I'm still filming it. Uh, I was supposed to film it today, but yeah, I just had to get this video out. Peace, God bless.